A man opens a credit account with OAXA and after one month makes a purchase of £6,400. In the 13th month of his repayment, he pays £238.21. Assuming the same repayment time, how much more money would he have to repay in the 13th month if he had made the purchase with an Americana account? So first let's look at the purchases for Axcar. If we look at this one here, we, know, we see that there's a 2.85% purchase fee and no fee-free period. So we've got to increase this by 2.5%. So 6,400 times 1.025, that's an increase of 2.5%, is £6,560. We know that his, th his 13th repayment, there'll be 16.2% interest added to that. And in the 13th month, there's no interest-free period. This is with interest. So if we need to know the price without interest, so we can find out how many months this repayment is over, we need to take this price, £238.21, and divide it by the multiplier for interest, which would be 1.162. That gives us a monthly payment without interest of £205. If we divide this initial value, £6,560, divided by the repayment per month, we get 32 months. That's how long the repayment's over. And we need to know that for the next part of the question. How much more money would you have to repay in the 13th month if you'd made the purchase with an Americana account? So let's make the calculation for Americana. We have a purchase fee of 5% this time, so that's more. 6,400 times 1.05 is £6,720. In the 13th month, we look at the Americana. There's no interest-free period, so there will be interest added in that month. There's an interest rate of 15.6%. So let's figure out what the monthly rate is. The monthly interest-free rate is this amount divided by 32 months. That's £210. With interest, £210 times 1.156, an increase of 15.6%, which is £242.76. The question asks how much more money would he have to repay in the 13th month? That's the difference between this value and this value here. So £242.76, the 13th month for Americana, Take away the original value for the 13th month, which is £4.55.